Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up for a peripheral IV. Before performing any nursing skills, you want to make sure that you're following your hospital's protocols to ensure you're following the latest guidelines. So whenever you gather your supplies, you want to grab the following. First off, go with an IV start kit that has almost everything that you need to start an IV. It's going to have your cleansing prep, um, it may even have the extension tubing that you will connect to the cannula. This one doesn't. Um, it'll have the tourniquet, some gauze, tape, a dressing to secure the IV, and sometimes even a label to put a date and time in the size of the IV gauge that you inserted in the patient. Then um, grab a cap or an extension tubing if it's not included and um, get your IV cannula. Here we have various sizes. We have a 22 gauge, 18 gauge, and a 20 gauge, and how I can tell what those are is based on their color. Also, I have a saline flush because we're gonna use this to prime our extension tubing, plus it's going to help us check if our IV is in a vein. And then I have a Kuros cap to place on the extension tubing's cap just to help keep it clean, and a pair of gloves. Also, you'll want to check the expiration date on the supplies to make sure that they're within that time frame so they're safe to use. And once you're done with that, you'll want to perform hand hygiene and then prepare your supplies. Now, whenever you are prepping your supplies, you wanna to try to keep everything as sterile as possible inside its containers until you're actually ready to use it. But you wanna lay it out in a strategic way because whenever you actually have that IV, you're really gonna only have one hand whenever you're trying to secure it, put on the access device and everything like that. So over time, you'll get a little rhythm for how you do this. So first, what I wanna do is I wanna open up the IV starter kit and most will peel at the end like this. And I'm just going to keep it like here and grab things out as I need it. Then I'm going to open up the extension tubing because we're going to need to prime this with our saline flush. So just going to keep that here. Then I'm going to open up the flush And this is a pre-filled one, and many of them come with like an air bubble in it, so I need to prime this. So to do that, I'm just going to take this cap off and pull back a little bit and then just get the air out. Then I'm going to take this saline flush and I'm going to remove the air out of my extension tubing. So to do that, I'm going to just connect and twist this on and I'm going to just flush that in there. And I'm gonna leave it connected because that's gonna help me out whenever I start my IV. And another thing to help you out, you wanna twist off this cap a little bit because it's super hard once you have the IV to get this cap off while you're trying to connect it to the IV cannula. So always try to remember to loosen that up and then just place it back in the packaging until you're ready to use it. Then you want to open up the actual IV needle by just pulling that back. And I wanna show you something on this IV needle. So here you're gonna hold it here with your two, with your index finger and your thumb whenever you actually go to start it. I'm just going to just pull this cap off. And um, you're gonna be threading this cannula plastic part off of this needle, and the needle is actually going to be removed. It's gonna go into the safety chamber with this white button when you hit the button. So you just wanna make sure that it easily comes off and moves, because sometimes there could be glue there that prevents you from being able to thread it. And then another thing I wanna point out just to show you, if you notice the tip of this needle, notice here that it ends all the way at the end, but your cannula, your plastic cannula ends before that needle. That is really important because whenever a lot of people go to stick the vein, they will get blood return in this chamber here. That's what we're looking for. But whenever they actually go to thread this in, they have difficulty and they blow the vein. It will not thread in. That's because you have to go in a little bit more in order to thread this cannula in. And I'm gonna demonstrate that whenever I actually start the IV. But I wanted you to see the whole reasoning for that. It's because we have that gap of where the needle is longer than the actual plastic 
cannula. And then lastly, what I like to do, if it comes with a label in it, I like to fill this part out because you can actually put this part on the IV to let other nurses know the date you inserted it, the size you inserted at the type, and then um, your initials because hospitals have protocols for how often these have to be changed out. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And if you'd like to watch more videos on nursing skills, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.